<laughs> Batch M Hank, got a lot of work to do today. So we're gonna take the TYM T574. You guys were right about this tractor. We're gonna talk more about that. I got a lot of comments about it, you know, over the 230 hours I've had on it. So we're gonna talk more about the tractor. We're gonna get the bush hog hooked up to it. I got, I don't know, I wanna say probably six acres. I might get it cut today. Uh, I might not, I don't know, but we'll work on it. Let's get all the, the pre-checks done. We'll get checked the oil and get it greased up and all that good stuff. Clean out the air filter and get started on our day. Two hundred and twenty eight point four hours.
I think we're ready to start cutting now. So I got everything serviced, got everything checked out. I think we're going to have a good day of just cutting grass and bush hogging. Not much to do is just basically on cutting grass uh, a couple of fields. So no, no tough stuff this morning. So anyway, so I like this TYM. I've had it for uh, almost two years now, a year and a half, going on a year and a half. And uh, I like it. I got two, what was it, 228, you know, 229 hours on it. It's been a good tractor. I've had, I've had zero issues out of it, 228 hours zero issues no mechanical issues whatsoever but then again i keep it serviced you know i i check the oil every time i use it i keep my air cleaner clean i keep my you know everything greased and lubed i take the uh paint stripe go across the bolts and i, I periodically check the bolts to make sure none of them have backed herself out and worked their way loose so you know i take care of of, of the stuff that i have so it's been a really really good tractor the dealer support i've got uh three dealers around me within 45 minutes to uh, an hour three three dealers within an hour but one of them is literally 10 minutes down the road super good dealer support uh i'm a fan of the tym we're gonna go start cutting grass we do have ac we'll be using that today <laughs> And I'm a, it does have a radio in it. It has a Kenwood radio in it with some speakers. But I'm a, I'm a sound diva. I like good quality music. These sound like tin cans. <laughs> so I'll go put my headphones in and I'll listen to some good, I don't know, some Elvis. <laughs> Probably some Elvis and some Bee Gees. Maybe some George Jones. I, I'm all over the place. And I'll listen to some of that while I'm cutting grass today. So, all right, let's get started.
running 174 degrees Fahrenheit, 13.7 volts, 228.9 hours, 4.5 miles an hour. So one thing I did learn that I didn't know until you know I was on this tractor for and things like that is that your engine, these are engine hours on the uh, and if your engine idles, it doesn't count time the same as if like for bush all I didn't know that. I thought an hour was an hour was an hour. Uh, but that is not the case. So the more RPMs, the more stress you put on your motor, and the hours go up quicker. The more idle time you have, and the hours don't equate to one hour. Uh, pretty interesting. So you learn something, you know, every time. Pretty interesting stuff. Say 229.5, so it's at 0.7 hours on the engine. But I, the point I'm trying to make is we're still at 174, it actually dipped down to 172 for a second because of all the cloud cover. So when that cloud came in, covered up the sun, the engine temperature dropped two degrees at 172. This thing runs really, really cool, really efficient. I just went to, uh, I just lost a dot on the fuel gauge there. I don't know how to say that, but it's been some fuel there. So, a gallon an hour? I don't know. I gotta do the math on that one day. Has anybody done the math on how much fuel you burn in a TYM tractor while you push off? That'd be an interesting study, so maybe we'll do that in another video. Funny thing, as I went uphill, the light came back on. So, it's wanting to burn, <laughs> but when I go downhill, the dot goes away. When you go uphill, the dot goes back. So, I mean, we're burning fuel, obviously. But how would you explain that? I don't know, that's hard to say. Because usually there's, you know, there's a needle or something. <laughs> uh, 
All right. 174 degrees, 13.8 volts, 229.5 hours, four and a half miles an hour. All right, let me knock this little corner out right here. 229.9 hours. I think we start with 228.8. Take a final look here 230 engine hours 170 degrees but I have been parked here for about a minute so 229.9 230.0 used one dot of gas let's see there's six dots so however that equates I think it's taken nine to twelve gallons something like that I just dropped to 168 degrees so the tractor runs efficient fuel and coolant wise So that's a two acre field that we got cut. Now, this afternoon when I get back from lunch, I'll cut this. This is probably another acre and a half, two acres right here. And then there's probably another two to four acres over there. So I think all of it's gonna be six to eight acres. Um, I may get I may get them done today, I'm not sure. Um, I'll get I'll get the middle field done. We call it the upper right middle upper upper right upper middle upper left fields, and then the backyard. That's <laughs> kind of our our personal names that we have for them. So, TYM T five seventy four done great. Uh, Homestead implements bush hog done great. So, you know, if you're in a market for a tractor, we've been real happy with the TYM. We have the T two twenty four. Uh, right there as well and that's what Gina uses as black barn blossoms for those of you that didn't know we're flower farmers we have a YouTube channel and Instagram and Facebook for black barn blossoms and that's our flower farm side of the house so go check that out if you haven't done so and you, you those videos on her YouTube channel are uh, uh, things with, that has to do with the flower farm some of the projects that we do here at the house things like that so go check that out anyway well that's it that's the uh that's uh what we're going to film today and then i'll take care of the rest of it. <laughs> you know it would have took you guys you know an hour to cut these two acres maybe an hour and a half but it's taken me you know two hours two and a half hours to get out change batteries move the cameras all that good stuff so there's there's some cost involved in being a youtuber but listen i appreciate you guys read your bible jesus loves you take care